Hi, this is Scott. Hi, and this is Warren with Affordable Computer Services. And we're here to help you out with LightWave ScreamerNet. Now, unfortunately, LightWave ScreamerNet can be kind of confusing to configure. So, we thought we'd make a video on how to do it, and how to do it the really simple way. So, let's go ahead and dig right in. The first thing we're going to do is find the LightWave's location, where it's been installed to. Now most people have that installed on the drive C in their program files folder. So let's go ahead and move that to something that's a little easier to find. And let's just move it straight off to drive C. And let's also rename it to a name that's easy to reference in text files and batch files and things like that. So we'll go ahead and get rid of anything and just rename it to straight lightwave. So now our next step is to open lightwave and to fix it because moving it breaks a couple of things with it. So we'll need to go to the general options and give it its new content directory and we'll also need to give it its new locations for its plugins. And push F11. That's right, Alt F11 to get to the new, to load in the new plugins. Excellent. So then, our next step is to share this lightweight folder out over the network. And we want to make sure everybody can access this one. And it's important that everybody be able to write to it as well, because we'll need to save our images inside it, the images that we render. So, let's go ahead and make new f some new folders inside of our lightweight folder. And we have a few folders to make. One is Screamer Command. The next is Screamer Config. The next is Screamer Save. Now we need to go ahead and make up new configuration files for Lightwave Screamer Net. And we can find some files as a template in our user folder. Here we have lw8.cfg and lwext8.cfg and we'll need to put those into our new folder here, our screamer config. Let's go ahead and edit those now. Now if you notice they're all referencing locations that are just on the hard drive. What we're going to need to do is give them network ready locations. So we'll copy the location of the network We'll just replace that part. Now make sure too that we have two sl slashes in between the folders here. Because in this text file, it needs to have two slashes and it needs to begin with four slashes. And go ahead and add the plugins after Lightwave there, Warren. Or yeah, you can just remove that one. Or add that one. Okay, replace all should find almost 700 occurrences. Now go ahead and look at that file for a second, make sure that's straight. Four slashes in the beginning, two slashes separating folders, and that location has to be accurate. We're good. We need to, need to do the same thing with the other text file. This one, however, doesn't need to have the two slashes in between the folders. So we'll go ahead and find and replace all the the locations there with network locations. Like that? Beautiful. Oh, wait, sorry. You have two slashes. This whole file does not have two slashes in between okay. folders. Oops. But with the find and replace, it's easy to make corrections. Excellent. So go ahead and save that. So now let's edit our start lwsn underscore node dot bat. You'll find that in the programs folder. 
So this is the template that NewTek includes as LightWave. So we're going to edit it to work with our current configuration. So let's go ahead and fix it because they have some junk in there first. So those two pads there in the beginning before launch a screamer net node, we need to get rid of those and add it, change them to echo. And at the very top, we'll add at echo off just to make things clean. Okay, now you see where it says echo init e colon slash content command. We're, we're going to need to change all those different references. So things that will work with our new network. Like this? Exactly. Like that? Beautiful. And what about this one? That's the content one. Right here. Excellent. And the config. Right here. Notice we got rid of that ending. Yeah, you don't need to have the lw3.cfg. And the command again for the last ones. Yep. This is where Lightwave ScreamerNet gets its commands to start and its commands to finish. Okay. Now notice there are no spaces or no, those are all one line. There are spaces in there, but it's just one line. So we'll go ahead and save that. All right, now our next thing is to load a scene in, in Lightwave. Okay, and yes, we're running this not over the network, we're running this off the computer here, off the hard drive. And so we'll load a scene to test with. We'll load the wolf car. And what we'll do is we'll set its save locations. And we'll save it in a location that works with our new network. And notice we did set it as saving RGB. So we're setting it in our screamer save folder. And we can save it in any format we want. I suggest JPEGs if you're going over a slow network like Hamachi. So go ahead and save the file. And let's go ahead and open up Network Render. Now let's set the command directory. We need to make sure we have it set to Lightwave folder and Screamer Command folder. We do not need to initialize now. Now let's go ahead and open up our node. We'll use that batch file we edited. Excellent. Go ahead and screamer in it. It'll find our CPU. Beautiful. And add a scene to render. And remember to use our network folder when you add a scene to the list. So go to network. Like this. Exactly. So it's finding it from over the network. Now you can hit Screamer Render. Should I have cleared whatever was there? Yeah, you should have. Okay, let's clear this. And add that wolf card. You're, you're in the right place. Now go ahead. Now let's look over at our node file here. Now go ahead and pause that for a second with Control C. Just wanted to look at the top there. See how it says it loaded in all these different plugins. There are no errors there. And it loaded also was able to load the objects as well. So we know it's working right. Now you have ScreamerNet running on one computer. All you need to do now is take out that programs folder inside the Lightwave folder, zip it up, give it to one of your buddies, run it, and as long as he can see your shared Lightwave folder over your network, you'll be good to go.